students do not typically have a hard time finding a job at all. Most of our students, actually many of our students, are working in the field right now. So there's a ton of jobs out there. And these jobs are, uh, you know, you can't outsource them. That's kind of true with all the trades. But also they're recession proof. These are good paying jobs and they're really, really secure. From me taking this program and then going to the field and seeing other employees that have not, I'm light years ahead of them and when it comes to training and knowing the information. It's not just a classroom vibe where you're pushed into a classroom and it's like, okay, here's the information, now learn it and read it back to me type situation. It's, let's get your hands on it, let's, let's let you learn through dealing with it, what you're going to see out in the field, and I think that helped me learn a lot. Students are going to learn like the necessary hands-on skills that they need to know, you know, the soldering, brazing, sheet metal fab how to charge refrigerant, how to recover refrigerant system evacuation, but the program actually goes a lot deeper than that. So we have an emphasis on diagnostics and troubleshooting. They're learning how things actually wire together, how components work together. And so they're gonna know how to take different measurements, temperature, humidity, pressures, airflow, electrical, and they know to, you know, basically they can use those measurements to diagnose HVAC systems to both the commercial world and the residential world. Just learning all the components of furnaces and stuff like that, how they actually operate, whereas like on the job, you don't really get to have that learning experience. You just get to elaborate even more while we're here. Every student that takes the program is going to get their universal EPA 608 certification. And that's a certification that's required for any industry professional that's going to either purchase refrigerant or handle refrigerant in any way. So that's an important one. They'll also get their uh, OSHA 10 card. And so that's one that's sought after and required a in some facilities. If they want to go beyond that, the associate's degree will transfer into a bachelor's degree at Ferris State University, and so some students will want to pursue that avenue. This career, I want to take me as far as it possibly can with earnings and money and just knowing everything I can possibly know about this field. The goal in the future is to be able to do my own thing, be able to start my own company. I believe the program is going to get me there between this and internship learning, which they require in their associate's program, will help just help me to excel. If you're prepared well to get into the industry, you're going to be successful. You'll start to realize all the different opportunity that's out there, and, uh, and there's no reason you wouldn't stay in it for a lifetime.